Aloha, I'm Dan Brinkman, CEO of the East Hawaii Region. Mahalo to every one of you for your dedication to our family, our friends, and neighbors. Here are some of the most memorable moments of 2021 shared by your coworkers. We'll start off our 2021 yearbook by acknowledging the impact of COVID. Stronger together for us, prove that we can't do it alone. We have to work together. And so we've seen different units pull together and work hard together to assure that our community was cared for. I think nursing staff and our technicians who have really had to step up, they have worked super hard. Just the sense of camaraderie that we had and teamwork, I just want to highlight that as well as thanking our numerous respiratory therapists for their hard work in helping us care for our community members. This was the worst thing that I've ever seen as a respiratory therapist. The patients were sicker than I've ever seen and I was really, really impressed with everybody. As we came out of it, I was just amazed at how much we actually accomplished. The employees, oh gosh, they're so great. They're, they're so flexible. There's so much stuff that goes into running a hospital and trying to keep people safe. Think about people like our environmental services workers or our housekeepers behind the scenes stuff. Maybe those people will never get recognized. It was a total team effort and we're stronger because of that. And while we were caring for patients on the units, downstairs our materials management and central supply teams were working hard. During the pandemic, we were busy meeting the demands of the hospital and we pulled together extra shifts and extra work within the shift. We have our role so that the hospital gets their supplies. At one point last year, it was difficult for us to get the necessary PPE to supply for our staff. With perseverance, a lot of research and a lot of hard work, we were able to find the PPE that was needed for our staff. So that was a big accomplishment for us. Just wanted to say how proud I am for all my staff and all they've had to do working so hard through the pandemic. Thank you, everybody. Our staff and employee health played a crucial role throughout the pandemic, keeping us safe and informed. And we did contact tracing, COVID testing, and ensured that our staff was safe to return to work. Looking ahead, employee health promises to give the best possible care to our staff and our community. COVID also forced us to be flexible for the continuity of care for our patients. This is our outdoor space where we were providing treatment for outpatient physical therapy. We would take them to the covered space underneath the building where we had a full treatment area set up and we were able to provide services for about three months underneath the building. We were very, very thankful to have such flexible patients who were just happy to receive treatment during the pandemic. In light of the challenges we faced, we still managed to deliver five-star quality care. Our critical access hospitals and long-term care facilities made great strides in 2021. My name is Denise Mackey. I'm the Regional Hospital Administrator for our Post-Acute Care Division. Here in Ka'u Hospital, I have two new leaders. Jennifer Aguiar is the Assistant Administrator, and Jennifer Shinde is our new Director of Nurses. We have made significant investments in AC, equipment, and new transport vans for our patients and residents in both Honoka and Ka'u. In addition, our Veterans Home has expanded its bed capacity to care for more veterans. We're also looking forward to opening more beds in the extended care facility to care for more residents. Mahalo to our staff for taking great pride in their jobs and care of their patients. In addition, our rural health clinics welcomed new staff and offered more services. Hi, I'm Laurie Reedus. I'm the Regional Rural Health Clinic Director for East Hawaii Health Clinics. We've grown a lot in the last year. We have added services. We've added a whole new clinic in KL. We've added providers across the board in all of our clinics. Our latest addition is Dr. Heather Wells, which has joined our Pahoa Clinic. She's a great addition that comes to us from Florida. We continue to grow primary care and urgent care services. Please come see us if you need us. Back at Hilo Medical Center, there have been a range of developments completed in 2021. Our projects and maintenance team have been on the go. We've been very busy this year, bringing much needed improvements to various departments throughout Hilo Medical. We have brought upgrades to the kitchen areas, to the pharmacy. We've converted our old MRI space into offices for a new training computer lab. And on the third floor, we converted a seating area into a brand new doctor's lounge. Even our laundry department welcomed much needed upgrades. Here in the laundry department, we have received new equipment, including our three row ironer, our small folder, our cross folder and stacker. These will make our job a little bit easier to help get things to you quicker. And now our patients can order and enjoy their favorite foods throughout the entire hospital. Hi, I'm Joe. Welcome to our new call center. We expanded our menu this year and room service to the whole hospital. 2021 was a landmark year for shovel-ready construction projects. For our larger projects, 
projects. We have constructed a brand new building across the street, our 1285 expanded services for our cancer center as well as our clinic outpatient services. We're at the tail end of our construction and expansion project at the cancer center and I couldn't be happier for our staff, for our patients and for our whole community. We have introduced a brand new second cath lab to our facility. Four years, there was no angioplasty, no stent, no treatment of heart attack with cancers. So if patients had a heart attack, they had to get blood busters and be shipped out of the island. Can act faster and also get better result. The advantage of the second cath lab is that now we can handle more than one emergency at a time. It gives us a lot more opportunity between the cardiologist and vascular surgery and interventional radiology to help more patients in a timely manner. It's really going to improve outcomes and I think it's going to be beneficial to everyone. We are in the midst of our brand new and new and improved lobby for our community and I am currently standing in what is the new retail pharmacy in our new and improved lobby renovation. With these new developments come new faces to our growing staff. In October 2021 we graduated 16 nurse residents and started a cohort of 23 mostly from our local programs at UH Hilo and Hawaii Community College who will be staying here on island to help care for our community. Over this last year, we successfully recruited and onboarded 536 new hires to join our East Hawaii region family. We also welcomed over 300 travelers to assist in providing exceptional care to our community. We brought on a urologist and a gynecologist who are specialized in robotic surgery. I was born and raised in Hawaii. Now I'm in Hilo and ready to provide complex surgical care for the women of the Big Island. Additionally, our general surgeons have also implemented robotics into their practice. It's wonderful to provide robotic assisted surgeries with our trained surgeons and staff. We filled the community need for more gastroenterology services by opening a brand new GI lab and hiring Dr. Kind and supporting staff. We also launched a new audiology program. Hi, I'm Alicia Severson, the new audiologist at Hilo Medical Center. I'm super excited to be here in Hilo. I've enjoyed a warm welcome so far from the community and other providers. I'm excited to work with all of you. While 2021 turned out to be an exceptional year, we look forward to achieving our goals in the coming year and beyond. We're excited for the completion of our expansion, which will bring our general surgery and vascular services to our campus. We'll also be adding plastic surgery as a service for the community. We've got lots of things going on and we're so excited. And in Honoka'a, dramatic improvements to enhance the resident and patient experience. I want to acknowledge State Representative Mark Nakashima, who assisted with with the appropriation of $2.1 million for facility upgrades. Our kitchen renovation will include new appliances, walk-in freezers, prep station. We're super excited to get our new equipment. We've been waiting for it for so long. Excited to use it. It'll make it easier to better serve our residents. We're just super excited. Thank you. What a year it's been for our East Hawaii region. Each and every one of us stepped up to take on additional responsibilities to support each other and provide exceptional health care close to home. Thank you for your commitment to the health and safety of our Big Island. Here's to moving forward to a brighter 2022. I hope you found this video yearbook informative. Despite last year's challenges, one thing's for sure, we made it work because we are stronger together. Here's to the year ahead of us. Keep up the good work and go Malama.